Ford CEO Jim Farley just said that the only way Ford will make a profit selling electric cars is to be vertically integrated like Tesla is. Well, my friends, this is the true meaning of vertical integration. It was the first car company outside of China to use lithium ion phosphate batteries. It was the first car company to use structural battery packs. And it will be the first company anywhere in the world to have a lithium refinery, providing thousands of direct and indirect jobs in the United States. When I started this channel just over a year and a half ago, there was no battery grade lithium refineries in the United States, no plans for any and frankly, the investment in electric vehicles and batteries looked abysmal. That's changed. Now, the first lithium battery grade refinery is about to be approved. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. To all the new subscribers, great to have you guys. Thank you for tuning in to everyone else. Fantastic to see you back here. As you know, I am absolutely a fan of Tesla. I know there's been a bit of sentiment lately. I really strongly advise you don't listen to the news. Stop listening to Twitter. Stop listening to this stuff. It's a massive distraction. It's a very negative distraction. The media is constantly spinning anything Tesla in order to convert you into being a fan of what? A fan of who pay them. Now think about it. The media doesn't exist unless companies pay them to advertise. Tesla doesn't pay anything to advertise. They're pretty much doing everything they can to hurt Tesla in order to help the companies that advertise with them. That's not a conspiracy theory whatsoever. It's logical. I've worked for many companies that will just say nice things about the companies that pay for them, that support them, that promote them, and say negative things about the companies that do not. That's very normal for the business industry. Don't let the media sway you into hating, hating companies when you don't need to be, because it's really mostly nonsense and just noise. Tesla is about to sue something that is very important. It's much more important than, than anything to do with Twitter or anything to do with that negativity surrounding that stuff, which we just need to, I think, get away from. Remember, the material, the information you feed your brain, that's the kind of person that you become. That's the ingredients you're pouring into your mental factory. Keep that in mind. What is much more important than any of that negative news is we improve the planet. Now, having a refinery basically next door to the what will be the world's biggest electric vehicle car plant is extremely important. This significantly reduces the costs, the CO2 involved in sending lithium from China to North America. Why not just refine it in North America? That's what Tesla wants to do. And that's why this is important. Tesla right now has been negotiating for a battery grade lithium refinery in Texas. And apparently, according to Teserati, those negotiations are happening behind closed doors. Tesla are discussing the details of its planned 365 million US dollar lithium refinery with Nusus County commissioners. On Wednesday, November the 16th, county commissioners unanimously voted to move negotiations with Tesla to executive session. You don't typically put your lawyer on camera to give you legal advice that you're supposed to listen to that helps you formulate your opinion because you're negotiating with the other, commented County Judge Barbara Canales. So essentially, the two parties are negotiating. Tesla obviously wants some sort of financial support or some sort of concessions on tax for the building, for the facilities. That makes sense. I think that should happen. Tesla is proposing this $365 million lithium plant in Robstown, it will employ 165 people. These jobs will be generated by Texas's planned Texas Lithium Facility and will be apparently high paying positions. Now, obviously the media didn't report on this at all today. They were just sidetracked, sidetracking you, probably you, maybe not, with all the negative Twitter news that they can possibly muster. Now, Tesla has estimated an additional 250 construction jobs will open in relation to building the plant. But these numbers, the truth is, they pale in comparison to the jobs that will be manufactured, created in North America, because, right, these are direct jobs we're talking about here. Indirect jobs will be massive in comparison. Direct jobs meaning 
the people working at this facility to refine the lithium. Well, what happens after that? Do the jobs just disappear? Does the lithium just disappear? The lithium doesn't disappear. What happens is it goes into batteries, right? They start manufacturing the batteries. Those batteries go into cars. Those cars are produced in North America. It's going to support probably thousands of indirect jobs. Plus, it reduces America's dependence on China. Why is it that China is refining all the lithium that we're using for EVs in the West, in Europe, in North America? Why is it that more companies aren't building refineries? I don't know the answer to that question. But frankly, I am pleased that at least this is the first one. And hopefully this will be a snowball. Hopefully this will get other companies to say, you know what? Tesla can do it. Well, why can't we? Let's do it. Where is it actually going to be? Well, it's going to be on the west of the intersection of Highway 77 and County Road 28 in Nusas County, Texas. And the Tesla plans to use the property for a battery grade lithium hydroxide refining facility. It's the first of its kind in North America. The site will also have facilities for other battery material processing, including refining, manufacturing, and ancillary manufacturing operations. Tesla estimates that the improvements to the site alone will cost 255 million US dollars. This is the first battery grade lithium refining plant in North America. I personally, I'm excited. It's really good to see this. One of the things I talked about on this channel, as you original subscribers would know, is that North America and the United States' dependence on China for raw materials, for battery products, for batteries themselves was not a good thing. I mean, it's okay to have a little bit of a codependence on each other. This wasn't codependence. This is just complete dependence on one country, meaning this is not stability. It's not good when you have a monopoly. And China does have a monopoly on car manufacturing, on electric car manufacturing, and on batteries. If you actually look at the numbers, that's technically... They technically qualify as having a monopoly. Why is the media uninterested in, re in reporting on things like this that actually matter? Yeah, they don't care about things that matter, unfortunately. Anyhow, this will decrease the number of miles traveled by raw materials and lower the carbon footprint of batteries immensely. In particular, of course, batteries that are going to be made in the US. Now, personally, I am getting, I'm getting pretty well fed up with the narrative in North America, in particular, that Tesla is some sort of evil corporation. Elon Musk is an evil dictator. There's more negative stuff printed about him and Tesla than there is about the war in Ukraine and about Russia and about Vladimir Putin. Yeah, that's not stability. The media, in my opinion, should be held to account for this. Really, realistically, I feel like the media have become whores. I think the word whores is the right way to describe them. Frankly, I find that pretty disappointing. I understand where they're coming from. They have become clickbait whores because other platforms actually make content that's of value. My friends, if there's anything that I can do to improve my value to you, please let me know. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.